Well, this became level nine. How's it going, guys? Of course, guy. I don't even understand what this conversation really is. Just occasionally, they'll talk about like some character will make some stupid comment. And this, I never knew this happened. I'm Jake. You heard about me from Anna. That's pretty funny. This will only happen, I believe, if you actually talk to Anna at the very beginning. Which I find pretty funny. Uh, cause I never really go to the houses, like any of them. I say screw that, I've already beaten this game. But now them doing like a little let's play, I guess I can show you a couple different things. Now, the right side is going to be your attacking mercenary deal side. Not a lot of attack, and this chapter really isn't hard, but yeah, that's the basic side. Over to the left, you've got your average uh, magic user side, except this time it's going to be a lot of druids. Wish I brought Canis for this, <coughs> but I forgot all about him. Oh well. <clears throat> I suppose I can give Urk a bit of a uh, training upgrade. Will be a big help with his higher ish resistance. I don't know why I send Will over to this side. I guess because he's here. His resistance like, sucks, I think. God, they have such low attack animations. It's somewhat fast, but mm, if you've ever played Sealed Sword, oh my god, it's like, as the ball of flux rises, it just halts for like three seconds before going into the ground and attacking. Even when you fast forward, it takes forever. Nice. Kent's been getting, Kent's been getting a lot of criticals lately. Krent. Where the hell did that come from? So as that guy was saying in the beginning of the video, yes, got these nice stores to buy shit from, man. That flux is expensive. Look at that, Jesus. Now what if I'm kind of stupid that they took out? <clears throat> in both Sealed Sword and in, uh... Sacred Stones, they had this thing at the beginning of the chapter where you could buy basic weapons. It'd be like iron, iron, iron stuff, fire, like lightning, flux, etc. And it was just really basic weapons at higher prices. What would be the point of this if you went to a level and you forgot about a unit, you could use this. And I would actually use it. For a little extra money, it would actually be pretty useful. But, <clears throat> this game, they don't have that, because you got Merlinus, I suppose. It's really strange. <clears throat> I wanted to get hurt. Oh my god, Lin. Don't play good when you're not. Actually, you had good moment. With that whole, uh... Killing like five units to save me from the asshole chapter. But you still miss that 91% chance. I'm never letting that go. Ever. <clears throat> God, Oswald's really fast for a knight. And Kent's really fast for a cavalier. Bitch just got total lesson. Kent's happy. He's pulling bitches left and right. Yeah, I don't know if I ever noticed. Uh, Kent actually got a point of defense. I never noticed that. I don't understand what his stat growths, stat growths are. But I'm kind of confused at how he gets... Like, you know, one defense after 15 levels. Which a shame, because the part I played up to later, Ken isn't doing too great. 
he's really like overshadowed by what I deem to be his rival. But you'll see who his rival is later on. And Urk's getting pretty screwed out the butt right now. Did I just say Roy? I better not have just said Roy. Urk. God help me if I said Roy. It's too much sealed sword in the mind. There's some neat characters in that game. Like there's basically a Priscilla. The game's Clarine. Well, she sucks. Like magic growth wise, she will not get any magic. She always have like what 13 magic after level 11 as a troubadour. It's pretty freaking ridiculous. No, not a troubadour. Sorry, uh, Valkyrie, which is what Priscilla evolves into. If you choose to evolve her. Which would be helpful. Because Priscilla is really good. Clarine is not as good. Also like how you can get a brigand as a unit in that game. He is probably my favorite unit so far. Gonzales. Reminds me of a thousand year door. Great Gonzales. In fact, at the point I just played up to, I think Urk just evolved. Yeah, he takes. For, I, he took a while with me. I waited a long time with Urk. Nice critical by Oswin. Nice. Yeah. Killing Edge is definitely more. It's definitely better than the average uh, steel sword. It's a lot lighter, if you've noticed. It's about as light as an iron sword. It's a really good weapon. I like. With her right attack, she rocks with those slim swords. I will give you that, Lin. <clears throat> you have really high attack in my playthrough. I mean, Jesus shit. It's fucking ridiculous. 13. He's got one of those damn Lance Reavers. What a little bitch. What I find it kind of funny is swords, uh, in these Fire Emblem games, accuracy, I guess, is voted better, so with buying a sword, it's more expensive. However, if you were to buy <clears throat> a Lance Reaver, it'd be less expensive than a Sword Reaver. It's like it swaps. It's pretty funny. Even the prices swap. A flip trick. That has to be cool, like fighting on the uh, plank. It's like when you do the flip trick, you just knock him off the boat. When say he just cuts him up and like tosses him overboard. That's pretty violent. Jesus, they can do less damage to Hector than they can do to Urk. Flipping ridiculous. You just entered the Hector. But yeah. Only a little bit more left, so we'll finish this off next time, I guess. See ya.